peaceful protesting continued this afternoon in northeastern Pennsylvania following the death of George Floyd. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espaya was on the scene as they peacefully called for racial justice. Protesters laid on their stomachs, on the ground, hands behind their back, the same position George Floyd was in at the hands of Officer Derek Chauvin in Minneapolis. There was no knee on our neck, and everyone that was down, as I asked them, they said it was getting tougher and tougher as you went. They laid like this at the square in Wilkesbury for nearly nine minutes, the same length of the video which shows some of Floyd's last moments live. Made you that much more passionate about the subject and made you that much more realizing, understanding, and being sympathizing with our brothers and sisters out there. The protest started at Kirby Park. Protesters marched to the downtown square, walked back to Kirby Park, all claiming justice for Floyd. Many raising their signs with powerful messages up. You can't be born racist like you're taught it and you grow up learning about it and then you choose to be racist or not. Many were surprised by the turnout. We live in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, and I'm not always supported as a black person, as a black woman. So to see everybody out here and pushing so hard for me, for us, for everyone, for my future children, it's been huge. It remained peaceful, staying focused on the bigger picture. People are so concerned about the violence and the ruining of businesses and stuff that they're missing the main message that we want racial equality. In Wilkes-Barre, Rachel Espayat, Eyewitness News.